Hartford International Airport, where hundreds of flights take off daily. With an ever-growing and changing avi aviation industry, there is a constant need to get more people into the cockpit. And all this week, students from across the country are landing here in the metro for St. Louis University's aviation camp at the downtown St. Louis Airport. First Lord Force David Amelotti is giving us a first-hand look at the hands-on experience that could help a young person's career really take flight. Kind of rough, but I landed, made it safe. Julissa Moranon Ruiz, a Rittner High student, didn't have to fly into town for SLU Aviation Camp, but she did have the chance to feel what it's like to touch down inside of a state-of-the-art flight simulator. I like flying drones. I like flying helicopters. She is one of more than a dozen students from across the country taking part in St. Louis University's week-long aviation camp at the St. Louis Downtown Airport. You know, a lot of people even in the St. Louis area don't seem to know that we have a flight training program here at St. Louis University. Ryan Boyer is one of the university's flight instructors, dedicating his week to showcasing a world of opportunity. And over the four years that they're here getting their undergraduate degree, we essentially train them to be professional commercial pilots. We are actually the first federally accredited uh, flight school in the country. And with commercial pilots forced to retire at 65, there's always a revolving door and a growing need, especially as baby boomers age out of the workforce. Flight always just like interested me. I want to become a pilot one day. Chaminade student Patrick Struckhoff and Kaysen Brinkley from Cleveland, Mississippi spent their morning getting hands-on maintenance work before heading out on a flight to the arch. I went to Florida when I was very young and I was getting off the plane and the pilot let me see the cockpit. When I mean, when I saw that cockpit, I've been wanting to be a pilot ever since that day. It just blew my mind. This summer further cementing Kaysen's future. In downtown St. Louis, David Amelotti, First Alert 4.